Hey guys, so uh, I just want to make a quick, or not so quick, probably more like, it will probably actually have multiple uh, videos on this one little tutorial, but anyways, I wanted to make a nice little tutorial, uh, different from my usual computer tutorials, and uh, go into the basics of electronics circuits and, uh, you know, sort of the inner workings of the computer. Um, yeah, so I'll just toss this aside for a second and I'll go over the components and the basics, the very, very basics. So, this is a battery. Specifically, this is a 9 volt battery and this is a 9 volt battery clip. And you just use it to, to, uh, to make it more easy and it gives you some wires to work with. And you probably know that this is the red wire always signifies it positive and the black wire always signifies the negative or the ground and yeah so that's fairly important information now what is this? this is an LED light emitting diode um, basically it emits light and uh, uh, it's always important to plug these in the right direction uh, the longer wire is always positive, and the shorter wire is always negative. Okay. This is a slightly more complicated component. is a resistor. Uh, specifically, this is a 330 ohm resistor, as compared to uh, this resistor, which is a 1000 ohm resistor. Now, what's the difference? Well, the more ohms a resistor has, the more resistance to the circuit it um, uh, affects. So say you take a 9 volt battery here. Now I'm not sure the exact values, but um, but just theoretically, um, a 1000 ohm resistor will um, convert this 9 volt current into eight, um, to 7 volt current well, this 330 ohm resistor will only con convert to, say, 8 volts. So, now let's start to work a little bit. And um, maybe my next tutorial I'll include some more about transistors and uh, capacitors. And possibly even phototransistors. But yeah, okay. Now let's try to build a circuit. So, here we have a breadboard. That's what it's called, a breadboard. And essentially, it's um, a testing circuit board. So you can use it to test out circuits before you, you know, solder all of it together. And it's really nice for learning because uh, you're going to be making lots of mistakes when you're learning. And I think you can get these for about like, t like $5, possibly, at Radio Shack or on eBay. Um, I have this a lot nicer one, which I have hooked up. Um, I got this at Radio Shack for like, you know, five dollars or whatever. Okay, so, um, I'll be using this one right now just for, uh, showing you how this works. So, this, this whole top row is all connected, um, actually by a metallic strip which is underneath all these little holes. So if I were to plug it in here, I'm sorry, if I were to plug it in here or here, it'd be the same strip and it doesn't really matter where. And the row right beneath that is negative, as with these bottom two rows, they're connected actually. And then all these columns down each way is also connected by metallic strips. So, plugging it here and plugging it down here are actually the same place. However, plugging it in here and plugging it in here are different places. And it's an incredibly useful tool. Okay. So now we got the basic layout. Uh, I'll see you go back to this one because I didn't bother to clean out the, the other one. Okay, so if we were to take our battery and actually uh, plug the positive end or the source of power 
to the top row and then plug our negative or ground into the bottom row. We now have a nice little source of power uh, which we can plug things into for all these two rows. I'm sorry, I didn't really put this in there. Um, okay. Yeah, so we have a nice source of power um, for all the board now. So if we take a red wire, it doesn't matter what color, but I just like to you know uh, match them up and plug them through here. There's now power running in, not through only this top row, but also this entire column because I, I plugged uh, the source of power right in there, like so. Now. Let me find a nice little LED in my bin of LEDs. Um, I'm sorry, that's not a good example. Okay, here's a nice one. It's green. And as you can tell, uh, or you might not be able to tell, uh, this wire is a little longer than this one. So the longer one is always positive. And so you should always plug it in through the positive end. However, um, LEDs are not rated for something as high as 9 volts, which is why you're going to be using one of these nice resistors now. So we need to re uh, resist the current and just narrow it down a little bit so that um, we don't blow out our LED and catch it on fire. That'd be bad. Well, not necessarily bad, but for our purposes right now, that's a bad thing. So, I'll close this up in a minute. Okay. So here we have voltage source coming through here, through this wire, going into this strip. This strip attaches to the resistor, which then goes into this strip in which the uh, the positive end of this LED is plugged into. So now, uh, this wire is kind of messed up. Now if I attach this black wire up to the negative end of this LED and attach it back to the negative end of the battery, it lights up. Ta-da! Okay, anyway. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? You got to just light, light up an LED. That's a good first step in circuitry. In fact, I'm so proud. I'm also going to connect up an ex so very expensive white LED. And wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? All right, these things are really expensive. I don't want to waste it anymore, but uh. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's our first tutorial. I'll be making one in just a minute covering transistors as well as possibly diodes and capacitors. Alright, see you next time. Bye.